we are for another duelist video but this time a different one don't worry if you are here for other card games it will work too so doesn't matter if you are new to card games if you're new to this specific card game if you are an experienced player if you like or not deck building or um, if you just want to try to learn some more things i hope i can give you the knowledge i have I have almost 10 years of uh, card games, so let's just say that I know some things, <laughs> so let's keep going. First of all, <coughs> this is for me something that you should keep in mind, I'm just gonna do this, friend, no, uh, I think, hey, this is a good card, okay. so this is the things that you should keep in mind when you build a deck. So first of all, what is a deck is, I would say, half of your gameplay. The other half comes from the game itself. This will define almost kind of yourself slash your tastes. So let's get into this fast. It shouldn't take too long, I hope, <laughs> but you probably will be late. Uh, so first of all, faction do you want? By faction is faction in this game. Don't worry by the way, this is a beginner, medium, advanced, whatever you want. You can always learn things, that's the way I see the world. So faction in the list is what is called to basically a class, a color, a magic for example. So the kind of archetype, not really archetype but um, more into the kind of weaponry you want. Uh, for example, here in Duelist, let me just... Okay, now you should see it. So if I go back, you have six factions, see? And when you start a deck, you need to choose one. So first of all, choose what you want. Quickly look at what everything does, see what suits you the best, or the simplest to play, or... Well, it depends on you, of course. Now let's go back here. Beautiful. That's the first step. Out of the way, what faction? Then, if what you want to do is possible, or if it isn't forcing, or isn't there anything better, the example of this is if I go back into the game, there, an example uh, with uh, no, this one. You would like to do an infiltrate deck. What is infiltrate in this game is when you play on the enemy starting side of the field you're like okay i want to play this so look at this and try to <coughs> sorry try to think if this is a faction mechanic or a game mechanic what is the difference faction mechanic is only from this faction a game mechanic is for example this spell you see the keyword that is a little like bigger than other words this is a game mechanic this for example is a faction mechanic. It doesn't say specifically, but if you type here infiltrate, for example, only here, see, no neutral cards, no any other factions are available because only those cards are infiltrate. No, maybe more. Anyway, so let's think. Okay, infiltrate. This deck looks cool, and I would like to mix it with this, for example. See, backstab, backstab, there you go. It says when you're attacking from behind the enemy. So if you think about it, if you're attacking from behind the enemy, there is a big possibility for this card to be on the enemy side of the field. So backstab and infiltrate are a good example of what is not possible. Because again, this is a faction mechanic, not a game mechanic. So that's what I mean uh, with possible or forced. So Keep this in mind, okay? Look at the game, look at the cards, and then decide what you want to do. Then, isn't there anything better? Because yes, sometimes it's fun to do decks with this card in specific, with this archetype, but isn't there really anything better than that? For this, you're also gonna need this part here. What type of deck do you want? So, what type of deck is basically the archetype, the playstyle. So, I consider that there are six, there are probably more, but 
in general I'm gonna say 6. So first of all, aggro, end the game as soon as possible, nothing to say. You want to play small creatures, really aggressive mechanics, I would say kind of like big stats for cheap. Basically, you don't want the game to last, you want to finish it as soon as possible because your wall deck is focused about early game, in the first stages of the game, about ending the game as soon as possible. Aggressive decks, that's what aggro is. Control, my favorite type. Makes the game last as long as possible, overvaluing or decking out your opponent. So what does this mean? First of all, making the game last as long as possible. That's the name of the game. If you can get to mid slash late game, in a safe spot, almost all the time, with a control deck, you're gonna win. Control means that you want to play it slow, you want to control what your opponent does, and be like, okay, I am allowed to take this damage or I am not, so I should do something about it or not. Why do I like this deck? Because it makes the game last, it lets me enjoy the game, it lets me think a lot. The two main win conditions there are probably more, but big uh, win conditions is overvaluing. What is value? A card that does like 1 for 1, the value is even, because it's just a 1 for 1. A card for 1 that can kill 2 cards, this is value because your card took 2 of the enemies. Always think, uh, keep, uh, sorry, keep in mind that in most card games, the deck is limited to a certain number of cards. In Magic, for example, it isn't the case, but it is limited to minimum 60. In the list, everyone has 39 cards, well 40 with the general but doesn't matter. doesn't matter. When you are thinking about value, don't forget that not only cards can have value, your HP is also value. You can have a resource in different ways. As mana, for example, when you use to play for cards, if it was worth spending your mana that way, or if it was worth keeping it, but people tend to forget that your HP is a resource too. Don't hesitate, uh, not really hesitate, but don't be afraid of losing HP to try to stabilize the game, to try to protect your own cards, even with aggressive decks, this can be good to know. So overvaluing is basically having your cards to get more value than the opponent. Usually, cards that does that are AoE, that are area of effect damage. So, for example, destroy all minions. That is a good example of it. You're gonna use one card to get rid of two or, or even more. That is value. What is it gonna be? Your opponent is gonna get tired, and getting tired means that you get to late game more often. Or decking out. What is decking out? It's really easy. Your deck reaches zero cards. Usually card games have different ways of basically making this something bad. In Magic, when your deck is empty and you should draw, you instantly lose the game. There is a fatigue mechanic in like Hearthstone in Duel List 2, so when the enemy deck runs out before yours. That's a win condition too. Again, as long as possible. Number 3, Midrange. It's basically a mix of both. You are not really an aggressive, you are not really a control, you want to win about mid game. That's basically that. So, if you don't like just spitting your whole hand on the board like aggro decks does, or waiting too long like a control decks does, mid range can be a good answer to you. Combo. What is a combo? It's usually with a specific card or cards or a strategy that makes you win the game. Might be in one turn, might just be a combo for just happens, or might just win you the game. A good example of this is a, de a kind of deck called Miracle. Not everyone knows this term, but Miracle is usually in one turn, you play as many cards as possible and you do something with it. There are possible ways to win with a Miracle deck. Like the last challenge, at the moment I say it here, <coughs> is the last challenge of all. You basically steal the enemy card that uh, just uh, give you a free card every time you deal damage with a spell, but the free card that it gives you is a damage spell. So you play it and play it and play it and play it, and Minoiler there is a creature next to it that says when you play a card you deal damage. That's basically winning in one turn. 
also known as OTK, one turn game. Number five is playing around a card. Yes. <coughs> In the Duelist, for example, you are limited to three copies of each card, maximum. So how can you play around a card? Easy. You are like, this card can win me the game. So I'm gonna play it with this card, and this, and this, and card draw to get it more often, and this, and that, and that. And meanwhile, your deck is centered around one card, or one mechanic also. Again, nothing really that hard to understand. And the sixth type, I was a little questioning, should I put this here or not, but this is more for the beginner part. New player deck. What is a new player deck? I just typed, it shine, it goes in. So, in the beginning of every game, you don't have many cards. You don't have many options either. You don't have many resources to get cards. If as you put money to the game or not, if the game gives you a lot of rewards or not, beginning of the games, usually you play around the cards you get. It's usually the simplest and cheapest ways for you to um, build a deck, maybe consistent, maybe not. So why did I put it shiny it goes in? Because usually you're gonna play good cards in general to for your deck to be just straight up better than your opponents by the cards not because of the archetype not because of the faction not because this card is really good at the moment and it's just better than all of the others but just because the card in general is good uh, as it's easier game or cards in general what i'm uh, referring to yes all of this guy can be adapted to basically any kind of card deck where there is bu uh, deck building in it. So if you're a new player, this is probably the one that I recommend you the most. Play around the good cards you have, try to not waste all of your resources in the beginning because you're discovering a game and you would like those resources to be used for something that you have a little a better idea about what you want, what you like, instead of just wasting everything in the beginning and regretting it after. Next step, you assemble the deck, card by card, check the card balancing, for example, in the release 2, minions, spells and artifacts, which are the three types of cards. Building a deck with 30 spells out of 40 cards is, I'm gonna say, really a bad idea, because this game is a lot focused, I'm not gonna say completely, but I would say a solid 80% at least, focused on board. So, you want around 20 something minions, would be nice. If you're playing an aggressive deck, you would like more. If you're playing a control deck, you can play less. You have to adapt. There is no right or wrong, there is no exact numbers to give. Because even an aggressive deck in one faction might have more or less creatures than in another faction, depending on the cards it has. A good example are, for example, tokens, which are cards that spawn other creatures. Also depends on a lot on the mechanics of the game, about the, the game rules, about the faction mechanics. So check the card balancing. It's more about that, about adapting what you're doing to basically everything. Review. So look at the deck and really think, is this card worth putting in? Is three copies a good option or two or maybe just one are enough? Then, redo, uh, sorry, redo if needed. Just basically review and correct. What you should do when you finish a test in school, for example, finish so you read it and you correct the things that are not correct. Then, you test, basically you play. When you play, you take notes. After you take notes and play some games, don't do it immediately after one game, just play like 10 games. After, check your notes and be like, hmm, Maybe I should have more early game cards, or more late game cards, or more of this, or more of that, or I have too much of this, too much of that. A good example that I can give you is a deck that I built, and I had uh, three creatures that when they die, they draw me two cards. But it didn't fit the deck, because my hand was always full all the time. So why should I draw two cards? Then, modify. I cut them out, I put something else in there that I was needing far more than drawing two cards when my hand is already full. After modify, Test. When you test, 
playing to take notes and then to modify but again don't do it after each game individually do it after like a set of games after a game session after three or four hours after 10 20 games the more you play the more you'll know the more you'll learn about the game you know now this is not about the deck itself this is more about something around decks so check the meta and the viability of your deck slash or deck heart slash cards what does this mean first of all what is meta meta is what is popular at the moment when you're playing you're gonna see that some decks appear far more often than others probably those decks are meta meta are strong decks at least at the moment because of a patch because of a card because of this or that what is your deck heart basically your deck archetype so this um, or deck cards because some cards can be bad at the moment or just bad in general or some cards might be really good at the moment or really good in general you should play and always keep this point in mind because yes it's good to have a deck it's good to have an idea it's good to be good at it but is it good fitting what you're gonna play against and that's basically what this point is answering to this question last thing that i put in there good or not have fun this is a game cards are game games are fun so if you're not having fun playing the deck try something else try to take a break try to change something you might even play the deck the card that you love in different types of deck so just it is not working i am not having fun with this or i am losing too much just it's okay it happens no one who is born knowing everything fortunately i want to say so the main part about this is also bringing back this topic just it is not working so you test you take notes you modify if you need you forget about the modify you forget about the deck you build another one and then you go back to testing to take notes to modify so keep this in mind most of the time fun is what is gonna guide you okay always and sadly sometimes i wish every crazy idea of mine would work what does this mean it means that i sometimes have really good ideas on paper but i cannot pull it off or it just doesn't work or it is too slow or just the meta counters it indirectly and it's a little sad when this happens it's just sad of course but um, you need to adapt you need to try to do something similar or completely go to something else but always i think this is probably the most important part if you're not having fun with what you're playing you're not having fun with the game at all you're gonna just get tired of it about something that you like so this is basically my list about tech building and to be honest i'm sure this is gonna help you a lot as you are a new player as you are an old player as you are a returning player as you are a player that just plays for fun as you are someone that plays for try hard to reach high ranks or just to reach the rank that you want or just to be better than your friends so those are the <coughs> sorry those are the rules that follow me when i build a deck and until now it's been working well of course some better than others it happens it's like everything in life and if it doesn't work cut it out try something else modify change your strategy think about is this card really worth is it worth playing with the card i love but be losing all the time this is basically what i want to give you about this game and card games in general about tech building in general and this is the knowledge i have about almost 10 years of card games i can say this i uh just a quick point i start with the classic like some years ago about pokemon about Yu-Gi-Oh, about some one or another one and then i discovered magic when i was about 13 now i'm 22 so yes cards were kind of a passion for me since a long time and i had some more try harder, try harder moments and others i even went some to some magic competitions and um, did well in some and didn't do as well in others but that's life happens but again instead of blaming yourself about fuck 
The deck that I just built, that I just spent hours on it, that I just tested and modified, is not working. Don't blame yourself for this. I know it's really frustrating. But just try to look at something else. I gave you 6, and depending on the kind of player you are, 5 really viable options. Of course, there might be more. Of course. And of course, I didn't say some, you know, some important things about this. Probably. But that's also on you. Because those rules might be good to me, but you might have a better way that suits you better. So, try, do it. Don't just rely on copy-pasting things from the internet. Just try from, your, from yourself. Card games are fun. And my definition of fun is not really go to the internet, copy-paste the deck into the game and just play with someone else's work. Like, of course you can do this, and definitely if you want to reach high ranks, it's probably the best thing that you can do, because... Meta. Unfortunately, I want to say, meta kind of makes people stuck into playing this or playing a counter to that, but they end up by giving up on the, one of the best human traits, that is the creativity. Don't give up on that, don't forget that you are human, don't forget that you can use your brain by yourself, and if you keep copy-pasting decks from the internet, you will have a lack of creativity, a lack of deck building capacities when you're gonna need it, when you're gonna want it. Yes, in the beginning it's scary, in the beginning it's frustrating, in the beginning it's a huge mess and you just want to give up, but at least try, okay? So those are my tips for you, this is my knowledge, and I'm sharing this with you, just take it, do whatever you want with it, share it with your friends, don't use it yourself, don't, again, it's up to you. I just hope this helped you if you're trying to get better on this aspect of the game because card games are fun to play but deck building is a part of card games so don't forget about this really and there was a time when I even had a preference to deck build instead of playing I was just like changing and modifying decks all the time and playing just one or two games with them fun times now I think I have more fun playing just control in general or things that can let me enjoy the game. And then I'll check about deck buildings and stuff. So this is my knowledge. This is a lot of information I know. Don't hesitate on taking a screenshot on this, on rereading for yourself, on rewatching the video. And if you have any question, just use the comments. As if it is for this or that card game, as if it is for a card in specific, as if it is for a mechanic, as if it is to explain better a topic, just feel free, the comments are open to everything and everyone, as you are sub or not, so just use them, ask me things, I'll gladly, gladly enjoy helping you. Maybe even we can go to vocal and do something, you might even appear here, but of course that's up to you. I'm open-minded on this, so have fun, test, and keep having fun, get better at this, reach higher ranks, but do it for yourself, try not to copy paste it from the internet, just think, you have a beautiful brain, so just use it. And that's how I'm gonna end this guide, 20 minutes is fine right? Anyway, so thank you for being there with me one more time, don't forget to try to ask something in the comments, just Feel free, don't be shy, I'll answer you, gladly, and give you a little heart and a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel, I have a lot more videos about to come and already on this channel on the duel list and on more. And guys, leave a like on the video if you like it, or at least like it if you didn't, and never forget about this, say the way you are, you are amazing, see ya.